Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about Seagate Barracuda 7200.12 hard drive PCB board repair and disk data recovery. One hard drive includes two parts, PCB board and disks, also called disk assembly. The PCB board controls the hard drive how to work and the disks stores the data. Before fixing the PCB board, let us do a basic analysis of the PCB board. It will help us to understand the PCB board and fix the problem. 1. CPU This is the CPU chip on the board. It controls everything on the hard drive. It is a very high integrated SSD chip. It is pretty hard to repair or replace. 2. Actuator contacts. These contacts contact the PCB board and the actuator inside the hard drive, which controls the disk read write head to read the data on the disks. Sometimes cleaning up the contacts can help to fix the problem caused by the poor connection, for example, rusty. 3. Motor IC This IC drives the motor on the hard drive to spin, to spin up the disks. This IC consumes a lot of power. Most likely, this IC is the most victim of power surge or overheat PCB board. 4. Motor contacts. These contacts contact the PCB board and the motor on the hard drive. 5. RAM chip. This RAM chip is used by the CPU on the PCB board. 6. Firmware IC, also called BIOS IC. This IC stores the critical information of the hard drive, such as unique configuration data. We are going to talk about more this IC in the PCB swapping process. We are going to use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find the correct donor PCB board. This picture shows where to find the hard drive model number. This picture shows where to locate the PCB board number for this particular model number hard drive. For every type of PCB board, the PCB board number location is quite different. Some on the edge, some in the middle, some uh, even inside of the board. If the board number is inside of the board, you have to take off the board to read the number. And also, there are some boards, the board number are so tiny that you have to use the magnifier to read it. Maybe this is uh, because the board number is used for the manufacturer only, not for the end user. But in reality, we do need this board number to find a donor board to rescue a hard drive. You may go to hdd-parts.com, input the hard drive model number, and the PCB board number, then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware. PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board from a transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data, 
The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. This is how the clients ship the controller board to us to do from a transfer. One, print out our shipping address on the envelope. Two, client's mailing address. Three, print out the form and ship together with the board. Four, customs declaration, item name, bad hard drive circuit board, item value, $5. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS, and uh, the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB boards BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the BIOS transfer, where is the BIOS of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please 
Click on like to support me. Thank you again. Bye.